a four and five record for Penn State in 2020, but I think they were better than their record would suggest. And we could be looking at something similar in 2021 because with a very tough schedule, they could be better than their record would indicate. Again, this is a tough schedule with some tough games against the Big Ten West, Wisconsin and Iowa, and then having to play Auburn and even Ball State in the non-conference uh, makes for a, a pretty tough schedule. Four and five last year. We're going to give you a projection for 2021, but I want to be clear that this is not a prediction. Our official predictions won't come until May. At the earliest, probably a, a team like Penn State will be June or July. A uh, long ways away from that. A lot of things, you know, still to happen. We saw, you know, some transfers just recently. Uh, look at Michigan and Alan Bowman. You know, it, it, what if I had predicted Michigan season before he transferred? That maybe could make a difference. And so, again, we're a long ways away from that. But this is just a projection based off of the schedule and based off of really how tough this schedule is and how good we expect each team to be. With a very conservative, conservative approach to this. Again, we're not going to go through each game and predict. But this is a scale that we use. If it's a 50-50 game, the game will stay in white. If it's less than 10% in red, 10 to 25% in orange, 26 to 40% in yellow, 60 to 74% in purple, 75 to 90 in blue. If it's over 90%, it will be in green. And that's where we'll start for Penn State. You've got one game in the green. That's Villanova, a game that they should not lose. They'll be, um, you know, if there's even a spread, they'll be 20-plus point favorites in this game. Really no chance, I think, of them losing that game. The only easy, you know, pretty much guaranteed win for them, though, we go to the blue, and these are not guaranteed wins, but you would be really surprised if Penn State lost. And I think you have a couple of these games. You have Ball State and Illinois. Again, these are games where the spread, I think, will be double digits, 10 to 20 points, somewhere in there. Ball State's a good team out of the mat. Uh, you can't overlook them, but Penn State is a much more talented team playing at home. They should win that game. And Illinois, I, I don't really see them challenging Penn State and Brett Bielema's first year. Penn State won easily last year, even though they had a down year. So you've got three wins here that we can, can go ahead and put in the in the win column. Well, how about the, the next category here? In purple, 60 to 74% games. And all of these are not the same. Some are closer to 60, some are closer to 74. But we do just kind of group them together. And it's that back, that, that back end of the schedule, those four games in November. Those are all going to be games that Penn State, I think, will be favored in, by, but not by a lot. We're talking six, seven, eight-point favorites in these matchups. I know Maryland beat them last year. I know it's on the road this year. But when you just look at the overall teams, the overall programs, I still think Penn State will be favored in that game, just not by a lot. Same thing with Michigan. I don't think they'll be favored by a lot, but they're playing at home. They won last year, and they have a good bit of production coming back. That should be a pretty even matchup, but I think there's enough there to say that Penn State will be favored at home. Uh, Rutgers, they should be favored. Uh, you know That one's probably closer to 74%, whereas Maryland and Michigan are closer to 60%. Michigan State's probably in the middle of that range, playing them on the road. Uh, never easy, and it's a team that you know is always capable, but Penn State should be the better team. Michigan State's kind of struggling right now. And so these are four games that, again, they should be favored in, but not by much. And then we go to the other side of this, the games where they'll be, I think, clear underdogs. And you've only got one. It's Ohio State on the road. I think Penn State clearly will be an underdog. Uh, you know, this is closer to a 26% chance for Penn State than a 40%, but I think they have a little bit more than 25%, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the yellow. Uh, Ohio State's going to have a new quarterback, a lot of questions in the secondary. Uh, you know, it's probably, it's on the road, though. I mean, I, I don't give Penn State much of a chance, but I don't see them being a huge underdog in this game, and it really just depends on how good Ohio State is. Do they just... A pick up where they left off last year or there's or is there a drop off there because i think penn state is going to be better this year and remember penn state played ohio state fairly tough last season it wasn't a you know 30 40 point win for the buckeyes all right so we've got four games left wisconsin auburn indiana iowa all of these games are going to stay in the white these are the 50 50 games these are the games that are going to determine what kind of season penn state has you know, if they win all of these games, which they have a chance to do, I'm not saying they will, but they could win all of these games. You could be going into that Ohio State game undefeated. Let's say they lose to Ohio State, then you're favored the rest of the season. You know, it's it's not crazy to think that Penn State could go 10-2 or 11-1 in 2021. It's not crazy at all. But they're going to have to win these games, and it's going to be tough. These are going to be close one-possession games more than likely. Wisconsin on the road, Auburn, Indiana. Iowa, all very tough matchups. 
uh, especially when you talk about going on the road to play Wisconsin and Iowa. Uh, this is a very tough stretch to start the season. And again, that's going to determine, I think, at the end of the day, what their record will ultimately be. So what's the projection for Penn State? Well, we, what we do here is we count the blue and the green games as wins. Uh, we don't have any losses here, no red or orange. And then we average out the yellow, the white, and the purple. And to do that, the formula that I just kind of came up with, I use 40% for yellow, 50% for white, 60% for purple. And then we just average those games out and give you a projected record. Again, not an official prediction. But when you do that, the projection for Penn State comes out to 8-4. Eight 8-4 and, four. Eight and four for the Nittany Lions, which I think is a pretty fair projection. When you look at, again, a lot of games that they could win, but they could also lose. Um, you know, if Count Ohio State is a loss, if you win three of the the four games there in purple, that's two losses. And then if you split the, the games in white, there you go, eight and four. And that's just one scenario that could play out. Uh, but again, I think eight and four, pretty fair for Penn State coming off of a rough year last year. I think Nittany Lion fans would be uh, happy with that. Maybe you'd like to, to see a little bit more. And again, I think there's a, a potential that they could get to nine or 10 wins this year. But again, when we just give you a projection, a conservative approach to this, eight and four, the projected record for Penn State. Do you agree? Do you guess, disagree? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below.